Hi guys, this is Case by Case channel. Today I'm gonna show you the result of the Tower Clue Part 3 test. So let's get started. The spec of the computer used in the test are live on the left side, and this time I conduct Tower Clue Part 3 test, which I just mentioned. If you haven't seen the previous video, AI Water Cooler Part Test Part 1, 2, 3, or Tower Cooler Part 1 and 2, or also you want to see them again, click the link above. In Tower Cooler Part 3, I tested the 9 different fan settings with the Tower Cooler mounted in the direction of blowing frontward to find out which case fan setting works best. Firstly, I'm setting up the computer for testing. The summer grass I used for the test. I bought GD900 from the AliExpress. I removed the used summer grass and reapplied it after removing the cooler. And the cooler was mounted in the direction of blowing frontward. The test was doing with a front glass panel. At the time of testing, the room temperature was 24.5 degrees. As you can see, the first test was testing number 1. All 6 clean fans are mounted in the intake direction. I was using the ADA64 for the test program and I used the hardware monitor to measure the CPU and GPU temperatures. All of the tests, the 6 fans were set to the maximum speed mode. The test was progressing about 10 minutes and the highest CPU and GPU temperature was recorded. The same test was performed for the remaining 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. All tests took more long time, but you are lucky that I edited and showed in seconds. Anyway, all the tests are finished. Now let's look at the result. In this test, the tower cooler was mounted on the direction of exhausting frontward and setting up 9 different combinations of case cooling fans. As you can see from setting 1 to 9, among them the best condition was number 7 and it shows 69 degrees of CPU and 69 degrees of GPU. The worst condition was number 4 and they show 80 degrees of CPU and 68 degrees of GPU. So I think the reason for the best result of number 7 is because the cool air from the top and back of the case was supplied directly to the CPU cooler and the heat air was exhausted rapidly to outside of the case. Finally, Tower Cooler Part 3 test was finished. Upcoming videos are Tower Club Part 4 and Conclusion of, of the series. And the uh, Tower Club Part 4, I'm going to comprehensively compare the result of Tower Club Part 1, 2, 3. It totally 34 tests. In the conclusion video, I plan to compare the result of 18 tests of AI water cooler and 36 tests of Tower Cooler. 54 tests in the total. Also, I'm gonna plan to quickly edit and upload the last two videos. So don't miss them. And please subscribe, like, and click the notification bell. Also, please leave comments. And thank you for watching my video. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>